Hey, what's up, people? It's your boy DJ Lucky Lefty, and we back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about best webcam options for live streaming in 2024. Uh, we're going to look at uh, webcams versus using a GoPro as a webcam versus using your iPhone or Android. So we're going to start off with the webcams, which um, would be the cheapest option if you had to purchase um, brand new today versus a GoPro or a cell phone. So we're starting off here with the Inland IC820 webcam. Uh, it's uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, goes for about 40 bucks, and uh, currently being used as uh, my overhead cam. Um, and pay particular attention to how it handles uh, the colors, the, you know, the lights, and especially the neon light sign there. Um, and as we go between the different cameras, uh, that neon light is basically going to be a great indicator of the quality of the video that we're getting and how it's handling light situations. So next up, we had the J5 Create webcam, also a 1080p cam. Um, and you notice when I uh, try and get a good shot of the screen of my MPC Live, it's really having trouble focusing in and also with the lighting. Uh, even if the text was legible, uh, the selection where the white bar is, uh, that is completely washed out uh, with the webcam footage. So for the webcams, unless you have a optimal lighting situation, it's pretty a crappy deal for anything other than a uh, overhead cam type shot. And so next up, we have the GoPro Hero 12 using HDMI mount with the media mod. And I noticed you know, right away that the neon sign uh, is a lot clearer than the webcams. Uh, and the overall picture quality is a little bit cleaner, uh, but still hard to focus on the uh, screen and still get the wash out with the uh, with the line that's selected and not being able to see the text at all. Um, still, um, no, overall, a better quality from the uh, webcams. Uh, so here's a overhead comparison with the uh, J5 uh, webcam. Um, and you know, once I raise it to the same level as the J5, uh, you see how much wider a view you get from a GoPro uh, webcam. Um, but this is a very expensive route to go, and later on I will break down the cost uh, associated with um having the GoPro as a webcam. Okay, and so last but not least, next up we have the iPhone 14 um, being used as a wireless webcam uh, with very little to no latency. And I'll um, share at the end of the video uh, the program I'm using to uh, do, do that with. Uh, so... This is the only one that did not wash out the screen um, much easier to get a focus on it. And you can see uh, the text on the selected item. Uh, the shot of the uh, how it handles the colors and lighting, especially the neon sign, is much, much cleaner than both the webcams and the uh, GoPro. Uh, completely blows it out of, uh, both out of water. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of... Uh, the J5 webcam uh, and the iPhone uh, next to each other. See how much cleaner that neon sign looks? No washout. Uh, looks more true to life than what you see with my own eyes. Uh, same thing, uh, look at the iPad screen. The colors on the um, Akai LP, um, LP8 pad. Uh, the colors on the pads uh, with the rain ones washed out. Uh, when you're looking at the webcam, but uh, you actually get the real colors um, look at, on the iPhone. So to wrap things up here, so the GoPro, while a better option uh, quality-wise than a the webcams, 
uh, is a poor choice uh, financially unless you already own a uh, GoPro. But to uh, buy it just for use as a webcam uh, would make no sense. Uh, you're looking at uh, what? Uh, 350 400 for the camera, another 80 bucks to get the media mod. Uh, no, then uh, another 30 40 bucks for a capture card. Um, because the uh, other thing about GoPro, you can also do uh, no webcam through the USB C, uh, but it's um, hit or miss with that. Uh, you're um, more reliable with the HDMI out. Uh, but like I said, if, unless you already own a GoPro that you could um, you know, use for your home setup, it's not worth the money to buy it just for that. The better option is your phone, which you already own. Um, and you might even have um, your previous phone uh, if you didn't trade it in. Uh, which might have a decent camera. It doesn't have to be the latest iPhone in this video here. I did use my iPhone 14, uh, but I do have a couple of older Android phones around that I've also uh, tried out, uh, which work just fine. And um, as you saw from the clips, uh, the iPhone gave me the uh, best picture quality uh, all the way around. And um, we will uh, go over uh, quickly um, the program I was using to uh, run it wirelessly. Um, it's called Irenium, or I'm probably butchering uh, that pronunciation uh, webcam, but I'm going to put it up here on the screen. And this will actually allow you to run four um, cell phones simultaneously. Um, Although I found it to be a little unstable when uh, trying to do multiple webcams. Um, and actually when you're installing, you, know, um, you have to check off during the installation process to be able to access it, uh, all four cameras. And it gives you a warning that you no know, might have some stability. Uh, you still install the option to have four, but um, no, just because you have it, you can still just do one camera at a time. Uh, but it does work up to four. Um, but no, there can be some stability issues. So it's a pretty straightforward uh, installation process. You just uh, go to the website and download um, either the Mac or Windows version based on your operating system. And then you will also need to uh, install the app on your phone, Android, or um or iPhone. Uh, once you install, again, like I said, during the installation process, it will ask you, to, you'll need to check off if you want to use four cameras at once. Um, but as you see right now, um, you know, once you have it installed uh, on both your phone and the computer, basically you just uh, open the app on your desktop and then on your um, phone, you also open the app um, and it's basically going to ask for permissions for your camera. Make sure you grant all the permissions for the camera access. And basically once you open the app in both your phone and desktop, it will start transmitting. And it's, um, no, like I said, very low latency. Uh, so it's pretty good deal. And so that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you um, learned something new, enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we're going to be starting to put out some uh, more uh, tutorials and uh, tech talk based on the things that I have uh, in my setup. It's not something we've traditionally done here on my channel, um, except every now and again. Uh, but definitely going forward, uh, we are going to be starting to put out more of that content. Uh, also, if you like the uh, animation, uh, maybe we will start. Uh, that's a new program I just um, brought this weekend called Create Studio 3. And uh, maybe I'll do some videos uh, with my journey on working with that. Uh, until next time, peace.